I don't want to be butthurt about it. In other words, uh, you know, when someone uh, gives me a great idea for making a video, like the last one I just did on, however you pronounce it, high vites, which is something to do with maybe black magic occult, um, Luciferian Satanists who drink adrenochrome and uh, live in deep underground military bunkers so that uh, QAnon can make a big uh, movie about it to get uh, Donald Trump reelected so that he can cut taxes on the filthy rich and build a border wall to keep out um, Mexicans. You see, the problem with the QAnon phenomenon is it's all about Republicans getting Donald Trump back in the White House. So they paint, you know, John Podesta out to be a pedophile. It's an enormous wedge issue. So if you ever watched any political shows on TV, you know, like the the West Wing was a good one. That's what they look for. Wedge issues. A wedge issue is going to split a log of wood. And you're the log, and the idea is to use a wedge to split you into my camp. So you're going to vote for my candidate. It's dirty, filthy pool when it comes to deciding who's going to be your political leaders. But it's done all the time. Why is it dirty? It's filthy, disgusting ways of throwing mud at your opponent. It's most, it's, it's yellow journalism is what they used to call it, but it's filth. And don't think they don't do it. They've been doing it since politics was invented to get you to vote this way or that way. Wedge issues. And they're experts at it. They've got polls, focus groups, To manipulate you. And this whole QAnon phenomenon. And Donald Trump calling news reporters fake news. might just get Donald Trump re-elected president. Because as far as the Democrats go, they don't have nothing. They got Joe Biden, who looks like he's got bad dementia. I don't know how many Hollywood actors are in on this QAnon, but it seems like there are some anyways. The ones that give like the devil hands or the Illuminati one eye covered or one black eye or what was the latest thing, something about... They're using a Y to mean, you know, we suicided someone. It's just that 
Hollywood actors are very prominent in politics. And they're great actors. They know how to put together a story. So if you think Tom Hanks is a bad guy, truth be told, if Tom Hanks is acting like he is whatever QAnon says he is, it's quite likely that Tom Hanks is a Republican and wants Donald Trump back in the White House. They're acting to get you to believe all this shit so you will vote for Donald Q. Trump. Let's not forget that Mr. Trump was starring in The Apprentice on Hollywood TV. You don't think they would stoop as low as, you know, tar and feather me, I'm Tom Hanks. I'm Lady Gaga, whatever. I don't care personally when I'm the actor, when my guy gets elected. Because we're playing dirty and I want control of the United States of America. So what difference does this cabal make? It doesn't mean shit. Because the rich Hollywood people and the rich capitalists are going to be rich whether Democrat or Republican get in. And you, the little working class guy, are being manipulated election after election because you can't see through. Adrenochrome. I look back and it was a joke. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, the movie with Johnny Depp as Hunter S. Thompson. And in the trunk of the big, was it a big Cadillac convertible, that all these drugs, cocaine and Afghanistan hash and laughing gas and all this other stuff, LSD, PCP, they had all this stuff and they also had adrenochrome. Where are all these missing people, you're going to say? I say time and again, they'll tell you anything in a story, any number whatsoever. Are you going to believe it or not? It's reported by such and such agency. Are you going to believe it or not? Some people say, if the government says, or the government agency says... In Canada, if stats can, Statistics Canada says, oh, that's different, it's the government, it's not the politicians, they're an independent agency of the government. Fuck off, you stupid sheeple. All of these agencies are full of shit. No, they're not, they got... When are you people going to wake up and understand if people have an agenda, the agenda is going to be used. And if you think Statistics Canada is an independent agency, who the hell funds it? The politicians say what the budget's going to be for Statistics Canada. And we already had stories under Stephen Harper, Prime Minister of Canada, that the government scientists had duct tape strapped across their mouth. They weren't allowed to tell their findings. They weren't allowed to speak. If someone had a question for a government scientist, they had to go to a spin doctor. You weren't allowed to talk to the government scientists. Who the hell really pays for the government scientists? 
it's the taxpayers, but the taxpayers can't talk? No. Under that prime minister, you couldn't talk to a government scientist. So don't tell me Statistics Canada is not being manipulated. And it doesn't matter if it's in Canada liberal or conservative. The same assholes are in power. Same assholes, same assholes. Stephen Harper, pro-business. Justin Trudeau, pro-big business. Same assholes. It's the same in every country. Same assholes. The smell of bullshit is just unbelievable. Anyways, Stewie from Family Guy. Who are you going to vote for? It don't make any difference whatsoever. Why bother? You're still a slave, Neo. Born into bondage, Neo. Red pill or blue pill. It doesn't fucking matter, Neo. Same slave. You might as well ignore all the politicians and all the bullshit and sit at home and binge watch Stewie. All I can tell you is uh, when I got my hair cut and I had to wear that paper face mask, I couldn't stand it. I could barely sit in that barber chair. Rebreathing my exhaled breath made me feel sick to my stomach. The reason you're breathing out that is it's toxic. Not only is it carbon dioxide, but God only knows what else. Your body releases shit that is not good for it through your breath. So if you're re-breathing the stuff you already exhaled, it's toxic. And I felt toxic. It was gross. So I don't want to wear your fucking mask, you fucking morons. For your fucking virus. And your fucking politicians that keep saying you gotta wear it indoors and outdoors. Fuck you! In the end, I guess if I want a haircut, I gotta wear the damn thing for 20 minutes. It's a big fucking psyop. It means they're fucking with your head. These fucking politicians. And the people who pull the strings are the politicians. It's time for a revolution where you get rid of your fucking communist and your fucking capitalist and your fucking journalist. It's time we scrap all of these nation states and we scrap money and we have a community of people who won't listen to bullshit anymore. Wake up. Fuck QAnon and fuck your adrenochrome and fuck your dumbs and fuck this and fuck that. It's all a bunch of lies, you fucking stupid steeple.